I don't know what to do. What's up, fam? I hope you guys had a great weekend. I am heading out the door right now. Where's your keys? I know my dad was up without me. Oh, uh, did we say it without you? Yeah. Ready, set, go. What's up, fam? What's up, fam? What's up, fam? What's up, fam? <laughs> I gotta go. Uh-oh, she's making a run for it, babe. You gotta stay here. I'll be right back. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so devastated. I'm so sorry. While I just pulled in, I need to go to the place that we're getting our windows done through. If you guys don't know, we're trying to replace the windows on the whole like bottom story of our house, but I haven't been able to get a hold of the place all morning. And then uh, today I was supposed to go in inside a contract and I just showed up and it says, we'll return at 1.30. It's 1.35, the sign is still there. So I think I'm just gonna go try and see if the door is open. I don't know what to do. I swear I have the worst luck with people like this. Still locked. I have a will return sign if you're not going to return by that time. Hello. Hey, so I pulled in like 125, right? And they have a sign on the door that says one will return at 130. And so I've just been like waiting here and now it's 137 and I just went to go check and the door is still locked. <laughs> I haven't been able to get a hold of them all morning long. And they're not even there. And they're not even there. I don't know what to do. I'm about to say screw just it wait, and just wait, go with another company. Wait until somebody comes back. Yeah. I'm going to try calling them again and see if anybody answers. I'm about to go with another company, though. This is frustrating. Okay, well, I'll, I'm only going to wait here for a few more minutes. I'm not, I don't really want to wait around all day. It just sucks because they gave us a really good rate. But, I mean, didn't we learn with the paint that you get what you pay for? Yeah. All right, I'm going to try to call them. Let's see what happens. They don't even have like a voicemail that I can leave or anything. If you can't have good customer service, then you lose the customers, right? Let's try this company. Hi, I wanted to get a quote from you guys. Sure, what, what do you need? Um, well, we were wanting to replace, um, all the windows, all the windows, all the windows, and then on the top, just the front facing windows. No problem. Perfect. So, where's the house at? We are at In Modesto. Okay, I can come out. I'm just finishing the job on Pasadena and Modesto. So I can come out now. Perfect. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, you got lucky. You like right at the right time. Oh, that is so good. <laughs> Great. Text me the address and I'll be there. Perfect. Sounds good. Thank you. Score. Now that is good customer service. Bye. Sorry you lost a customer. All right, I swear that was fate. I like these guys so much better anyway. Don't you think that they, I feel like they know what they're doing more. They, is that a bad judgment call? Maybe that maybe no, that's like no, because they were actually they were like they were giving thorough. us options for they were, they were more thorough. Yeah, they were very thorough. They were giving us options of replacing. Like they literally like told us which ones don't even need to be replaced. They're like, you don't need to replace this. Just like change the glass out, and like you'll be good. So <laughs> they're not looking for a quick buck. They're actually yeah, and they this place I think is gonna be more pricey than the other place. But you know what? Like I was saying earlier, like I think that you get what you pay for, and maybe we should just like suck it up. And pay more. I'm such a cheapskate. Like, I'm frugal. Well, when you have so many kids, like, you have to be, you know? So, I don't know. But I really like these people. They're about a month out, though. And we're not even going to get a quote for another two days, probably. So, I don't know. At this point, I don't even freaking know. But, like, look at this window. Look at how bad that window is. The guy said that that should not have passed inspection for us to buy the house. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell. It's, like, so cloudy. Look at that. It's just completely cloudy, like, but anyway, I still haven't even heard back from the other place either. I'm so irritated this morning. Anyway, baby just passed out on me. She's so grumpy, thank goodness. I just got a card in the mail for an appointment for a follow-up with Landon's, I guess it's, I don't I wonder if this is another MRI. Cause they said after six months that they were going to do another MRI to make sure that the little nodule on the end of his spine, if you guys aren't familiar with that whole story, I'll link some videos down below, but he's got basically like a growth on the bottom of his spine which we think is causing him pain, and they want, they're gonna do another MRI to see if it's grown. I'll have to call and like verify. They just like sent me a thing saying, oh, by the way, your appointment's next week. Like, thanks for letting me know. I wanna take the rest of this Christmas stuff down because it's January now, and it's getting a little ridiculous.
What's up, Sam? I'm gonna go get my hair cut. Daddy's gonna take you, okay? Okay, kiss. I love you. Okay, yeah, perfect. Have you ever seen any of our ENT specialists? No. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna schedule for the next available. Okay. I do want you to be aware that our providers are only here two days out of the month. Oh, okay. And for that reason, our next available is July 10th, and I can do an 11:30 or a 1:30. What other locations do you have? Do you have another one that we can just like drive to? In Modesto, I mean Madera. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's a long way out. Right. Did you want me to give you their number? Okay, perfect. I'll go ahead and give them a call. Thank you. That's kind of funny because I was literally just talking about um, his referral for his, the other issues he has going on. But in addition to that, poor Landon, oh my God, he always, he's the one with the issues. I swear, a while ago was supposed to be referred to an ENT specialist. I just now heard back from them and they don't have any availability until July. Like, he literally just had another ear infection like since his last one so I'm gonna call like their actual location which is two hours away I think I'd be more willing to drive there and like let him be seen sooner than to wait until July like that's insane let's call them they're not able to get him in until July I was trying to see if you guys had any earlier appointments the earliest here would be March <coughs> March okay what's the date of birth um uh, March 3rd Orlando yes okay thank you Welcome. Right. So it looks like we're gonna be going the day after we get back from Disneyland for him. But that's better than July, like July. So the reason he's being referred to an ENT specialist is because he has constant ear infections. He's, I'm assuming they're probably gonna like have to put like tubes in his ears or something. My brother had to have that when he was growing up. But I mean constant, just yesterday his eardrum burst again we didn't even know he had an ear infection it's constantly doing that so that cannot be a good thing for it to constantly be bursting like that so the sooner we can get him in the better because i don't want him to like have damaged hearing because we couldn't get him in you know like how many honestly how many ear infections is he gonna have between now and july probably at least three. Oh, people are just pissing me off today i don't know it's just one of those days like i've been super frustrated all day like i feel like the whole world is against me <laughs> but anyway i'm gonna let Addie finish taking her nap and then i'm gonna take down this christmas stuff chris took the boys to go get a haircut because they need it so desperately and that's pretty much it for now so talk to you guys later you gonna help me do this this First, okay, first you have to dab. We're gonna finish up cleaning up all this Christmas stuff because it is January, so let's do this. The guys that came and gave us a quote today. What's up, What's up, Fios? They had to go all the way up there to measure that window up there, right? Well, while they were up there, I was like, hey, could you pull down that snowflake up there? The one that we put out there. He's like, sure. Yeah. Chris is like, I can't believe you actually had them do that. But I mean, they were out there anyway. Like all they had to do was pull off the hook. So <laughs> they were nice. Now time to clean up this whole mess. It's not even a mess. It's actually beautiful. But we got to take this down, put it into yeah, okay. that bin. You said let's jump on the bus and take a ride downtown. Well, I don't know about that. I need help, people, I need help. This is better. I think I might get three of these and hang boop, 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 like hang three of them this way. I don't know, I don't know what to do. If anybody has any obvious ideas, let me know. But can you help me first to get these boxes down? Well, I don't know about that. Are you all clean? Uh-oh, did you move our door? We're all clean. We came out of our bath and it's all dark we down there and we can't find dad anywhere. Uh -oh. Let's Nobody, go see let's guys. Go. Let's go investigate, okay? Wait, oh, they're loading their guns. <laughs> Sadie's freaking out. <laughs> dad! <laughs> Mom, you're the leader. Okay? I'm the leader now. Look, at Addie's, Addie's brave. Do you see anything out there? No. Oh, oh. Bam! <laughs> okay. On that note, I think we should go to bed. I feel like that right now. 
big kids begged us to fall asleep downstairs in the playroom, so they're sleeping in the playroom tonight. I'm gonna put his butt in bed and my butt in bed. So anyway, that's it for this video. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, I those links down below, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow for our next video. Goodbye.